Hi, this is Matthew with RetroEdge.Tech and I'm going to be showing you how to create a place to put your custom scripts because as you start to get familiar with Linux you'll want to create shortcuts for yourselves or little scripts or helpers or things where you um, or you might grab snippets of code from elsewhere and you want to put them in a specific place that's relative to your user folder. You don't need necessarily need to install them for all users on your computer or install them system wide. It's just this will be a place where you can put things that you want to run just for you. So um, I'm using Linux Mint as a, a base of, of learning. There's a, so many other Linux distributions out there that are great. Really, it doesn't matter too much what Linux distribution you use, what version of Linux, uh, but Linux Mint is a great place to start because it's a commonly recommended, hey, you're new to Linux, try Linux Mint. And it's based on Ubuntu, which is based on Debian, and it's certainly one of the most popular and well-known versions of Linux, so it's easy to get started. And that's why I'm using Linux Mint as a base. Well, let's get into this. Um, Control-Alt-T is a shortcut in Linux Mint um, and most, uh, well, a lot of versions of Linux, pressing Control-Alt-T will bring up a terminal. Now, in a previous video, I've customized it so that when I open a terminal uh, or open a bash session, the NeoFetch application shows me some system stats. So that's what this comes is uh, showing up right here. And you can see that, um, you know, which version of the Cinnamon desktop environment I'm using, which version of Linux Mint, etc. So uh, in many Linux distributions or uh, there's a hidden folder in your home folder called local and you can see that you know for me that's uh, the path uh, pwd uh, prints the working directory is what that stands for um, and if i list files ls um, you'll see that there's only one directory in there share uh, a lot of Linux distributions have a directory in this location called bin, where you can store your own custom scripts and your own um, programs and that sort of thing. And it's just you, so it's, it's a bin to put your programs in. Um, let's make that. So we're gonna do mkdir, which makes a directory, and then we'll say bin. And now when we list what's in uh, here again, you can see that uh, there's the bin directory, and we can change directory to go into it, um, and there's nothing there. Um, so let's let's make something quick here. So um, let's do vim testing. So this is going to use the vim text editor, which I have installed. Linux Mint doesn't come with vim by default, but it does come with vi. Um, so I, I installed vim earlier. So vim testing vim and then the word testing after it says that it's going to create a document in our current working directory um, called testing. So let's do that. Uh, we're going to press I for insert mode. I'm going to press the octothorpe uh, or the crunch and then the bang, the exclamation point, and then uh, slash bin slash bash. And that's going to tell um, the computer that we're going to be using bash to interpret this script. And then let's just echo out. This is a test. And then we can escape. And then colon right Q. And now when we list the files in there, we can see that it's testing. But um, if we just try to write testing, uh, it's going to say command not found. So we can make, and it's, it's not executable as well. If we do, um, if we type that out and it's just going to say permission denied, it, it won't run that. So let's change this to executable so we can chmod space plus x 
and then testing. I wrote testing or started to write testing and then just press tab to auto complete. Now when I list uh, the, the files after that command is done, you can see that it's called change color to um, green there and that indicates in this terminal color scheme that this is now an executable that um, can, yeah, it can run, it can be executed. So if I do dot slash and then start typing testing and then press tab to auto complete, because it's now an executable program, it will auto complete. I'll press that and now it echoes out, this is a test. Okay, so that's great. I've got this custom script in my own bin to keep scripts. Um, but if, if I go out and then I just control T to bring in a terminal again and I type in testing, it's gonna say command not found. Um, so how do I get the my custom bin to be in the path of places where my computer looks for programs to run? And so I have to edit the environment variable path in order to um, add my custom location. So if I type out path here, it'll show me the, the places where it, it looks for programs and my directory, my custom directory is not there. So let's add that. So if we do vim space and then we're already in the base of our home directory, but if you were someplace else, you could do tilde slash dot bash rc. And I've gone to edit this type of thing before. If I press capital G, it'll go to the end of this file. And here you can see that I've already had um, uh, modified this so that it, it, it opens NeoFetch when I open a new bash session. Um, and then if I press I for insert, uh, and then I'm going to just say add bin to path for my scripts. And then now I'm going to say path equals, and then it's going to be dollar sign path. So it's going to call the variable again. And I'm going to do colon home slash, and I can call uh, you know, another variable for user, which is going to put in my user there. And then dot local slash bin from my directory. Press escape colon WQ. Let's see, I missed colon there. Let's escape again, escape. There we go. Right quit. I think it selected that. Let's make sure that those changes were saved. Um, And oh, bash is not a file, bash rc is, and it, it put me right back where I was, and you can see that it did write that. Um, I think uh, um, what happened there is, is I didn't correctly press the colon, and then when I tried to press the other keys, it got into the submenu um, instead of me just typing in the command. But now when I press colon, and write quit. And I haven't made any changes, so I, I don't really need to write. I can just press Q. But if I had made the changes, I'd press WQ to write quit. Um, and so let's try it. Um, so let's type testing, and it still says command not found. Why is that? Well, it's because uh, the bash RC, which is kind of loading in the settings for the bash session, hasn't been loaded again. Um, so if I would exit out of that bash session and then open up a new one, now when I press testing, it will say this is a test. And that's because um, my settings um, that I added, that line I added to the bash RC file at the end has now been loaded in when I restarted a new bash session. And it includes now, the um, right here is my path to my custom um, bin to keep scripts in. Um, so 
just wanted to show you that uh, this is a good place um, that uh, your home directory dot local slash bin is a good place to put your own scripts, your own custom things or modifications or things that you want to add that are going to be specific to your user. And this is a great place to put them. And that's how to add that location to your path by editing the bash rc file. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.